We're here in Detroit, Michigan, where thousands of nobodies have come out here to take their one shot in a million to become young, rich, and famous, winning a singing competition. Will we find America's next big superstar here in Motown? Journey starts now. This is American Pipe Dream. How's it going? I'm, I'm Derek Jackson. I'm 28 years old from Detroit, Michigan, right here. Whoop, whoop. Well, I've been singing since I was seven, um, but I took it real serious when they told me I had this rare form of cancer. Um, I'm hoping it's reversible. No, 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 no. It gets hard sometimes, you know, especially with my diabetes type 10. And I also have athlete's foot. But singing keeps me happy, and that's what I'm hoping that I can bring to this competition. I'm so sorry, excuse me. Hello? Seriously? Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Well, guys, the good news, and I got bad news. The good news is, um, my athlete feet is now just one foot. I've just athlete foot now. Bad news, the cancer has gotten worse, and I really don't have long to live. I'm not going to take too much of your time. I'm going to sing maybe my last song. It's so hard to say goodbye to David Jackson. Me. So what do you guys think? I can definitely relate to those ailments. I almost lost my heel plus a toe to athlete's foot. Hell, I caught gangrene in my left nutsack and I kept on going. I kept on going. You know what, brother? You're going to Hollywood. If you live that long, boy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Susanna Montana. I'm from Fort Payne, Alabama, and I'm 18. Is that a wedding ring? Yeah, Billy Ray gave it to me. I mean, we have a son, and he's seven, so thought it was time. Now, you say you're 18, right? She's legal. I grew up in a Southern Baptist orphanage, right in Fort Payne. And all the other kids at the orphanage, they used to make fun of me because I didn't have no parents. So I made friends in the barn with the cows and the chickens and the pigs. And that's where I met my best friend, Sammy. He was the sweetest. Wait a minute, your best friend is a pig? We had the best times together, but and they got hungry, so they had bacon for breakfast. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but I mean, after they killed Sammy, I didn't really have nothing to do with the orphanage. So I ran away. And that's how I met my cousin Billy. And then we had our son, Sammy Jr. And you have a baby by your cousin? That's like me and my wife. Only she's my sister. Man, you goddamn hillbillies is something else. <laughs> anyway, then I hitchhiked up here to Detroit, and people have been real friendly, especially the guys. Sometimes they just offer me money. I take it. Country roads take me home to the place. I belong, Alabama, beach mama, take me home, down country roads. I don't think you're right for this competition. Wait a minute, I disagree. I think she's perfect for this competition. I think you should go to Hollywood and ride with me, <laughs> if you know what I mean. How are you? 
I am Juan Secada, 33 years old. I am a refugee de Cuba. I left communism to pursue my dream to become a singer in America. But I left my family behind. But I got on a boat and we were on our way until the boat hit an iceberg, then it sank. I was the only survivor and I built a raft with little thousands of pieces of wood that was laying in the ocean. And it floated for miles until a storm hit and it destroyed my raft. But I survived and I swam and I swam for miles and miles until a school of shark came and made circles around me and I had to fight them off. But I finally made it after months and months of being in the ocean. I made it to America to be here in American pipe dreams. And now I'd like to sing a song for you. I'm a survivor, I'm gonna make it. I'm a survivor, keep on surviving. You fought off sharks? Shit, man, motherfucker, man. I can't fight no rats and roaches. Sharks is a motherfucker. If you want to swim in Hollywood, motherfucker, go ahead and get your life suit on, go in your goddamn drawers. You are going to Hollywood. Hi, my name is Julia. I'm 14, and I'm here with my brother all the way from Virginia. And I'm here because he, <laughs> there's something wrong with him, and I know he's not going to win, but that's a whole other situation. It's just the arm. The arm, and how, like, endlessly inconvenient it is for every situation in, like, the life for everyone else who isn't Sal because he was born with it somehow I don't know some crazy like incident at birth they say he was born with it I think they cut off his arm or something instead of the cord but <laughs> that's just my theory anyways let's go in the garden you'll find something waiting right there where you left it lying upside down I loved it it was so beautiful well, I like your voice. You got a pretty voice. I think you should go to Hollywood. But your brother, your brother's got to stay. But he got a prosthetic arm! Sorry about your arm, boy. It, it's, it's not gonna happen. This is not a competition for Jerry's kids. So, it's not gonna happen. It's a no-go. Sorry, kid. It's for singers only. Come on, guys. It's for singers only. Singers only. Um. Ha <laughs> Um, this way, sir. I see y'all. I see y'all. I'm Chad Brosnick. I'm 19 years old. Okay. I'm from Harrison, Arkansas. I drive for Uber on my spare time. I can drive very well during the day. At night, it gets a little dicey. Some of the things I like, I like popcorn. Okay. I like to look at the stars at night. Uh, they say that it's not very good to stare at the sun. So I don't do that anymore. I'm a little tone deaf in this one ear, right here. This ear here is fine. I can do, I can hear a lot of tones, but I'm tone deaf in this ear. Aside from that, I'm fine. And also, full disclosure guys, I have something quite a bit of a drug addiction, as they might call it, okay? I do like to smoke crack, it's not a problem. I control it just fine, guys. I'm also a flat earther, y'all. Just full disclosure, y'all, I'm a flat earther. I like four locos. Sometimes I like to do mountain man shit. I like to just drink water out of puddles, but that's because I'm poor. There's one thing that gets me that really hits a spot in my heart. It's big butts. I really like big butts. I like to sleep butt naked. Full disclosure. That's just like, I, that's how I like to sleep. No sheets. I don't like sheets on my bed. I like a bare bed. I like to feel the actual texture of the mattress without a sheet yeah, on it. Um, I understand your story. Everyone has a story. But could you get to the singing part, please? We kind of press for time. Wow. Hey, what you say, motherfucker? What? What? 
You said what? Who said that? Who said that? I can't sing my song. Wait a minute. Hold on. Look, my man. I hear you're running out of time. Matter of fact, you ran out of time. That sounds like racism. I I know who's right. I I can smell it. I can smell it. Just go out of here. Please. Who farted? Yeah, you guys ain't shit. You guys ain't shit. Listen, but full disclosure, I once ran over a squirrel. Felt really bad about it. It was bad, y'all. You're wasting our time. It was, it was really go, bad. Brother. I feel bad. I pray. You're not bit. the next Stevie, oh, and you're not the next Ray Charles. Come on, okay. let's go. Okay. We'll see who laughs last. Yeah, I see. Just you. Get the hell out of here. Just go. I see. You. Yeah, I know where the exit is. Fuck y'all, motherfucker. See you later, buddy. God damn foreigners. Howdy, y'all. Uh, my name is Franklin Schottenheimer. I'm 29 years old, and I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Ever since I was a little boy, I always wanted to be a singer or a model. I don't know if your face is all fucked up, boy. Oh, 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 you mean this. I cut myself shaving this morning. I was a little nervous about this audition, uh, but I'm fine now. It don't hurt none. The song I want to sing for y'all is Elvis Presley, because he's from my hometown. In Memphis, no, no, no. Tennessee. Just yeah. You know what, my man? Look here. We're going to send you to Hollywood off that shit alone. But get some skin caught off your balls, your ass, or something. And get that shit fixed. Come on. Call this motherfucker Hamlet, man. Come on. Hey, how's it going? Uh, hey, what's up? So, you nervous? To be honest, not at all, man. I, I feel 100% confident that I'm going to win this. Do re mi fa so. I mean, come on. What about your story? Story? Wait, is, is this a singing competition? You know, all those other contestants have been through some real hardships and struggle. What? What does that have to do with singing? America loves an underdog. But I don't... I have no sad story. I... Well, you better start thinking of something, kid. Good luck. You want a sad story? They'll get a fucking sad story. Wait, 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 guys, we got one more. Oh. Hi, my God. Hey, man, you okay? You don't look good, my man. Oh, shit. Oh. I might not have a story for you guys, but I'm gonna prove to you guys that I can sing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh, shit. Thank <laughs> you.